I'm going to show you how we pay just as much attention to using Windows 8 with a mouse and a keyboard. So let's have a look. I'm going to put this machine here so we can actually project it. And here we go. So I am at the lock screen here. I'm going to just hit Enter to unlock. So this is no more Control-Alt-Delete. I just hit Enter, which is really nice. Um, Julie, I protected my machine, my computer, with a password just the same way Julie did. Now, hers doesn't have a mouse and keyboard, so she did a picture password, which works great for a tablet like that. I have a keyboard, so I chose to just use a pin. I'm going to unlock using my pin. And I'm just going to start by showing you how easy it is to navigate around the start screen using, using the mouse. Now, this works just as you would expect. I can grab the scroll bar and move it around. I can use the, uh, I can use the wheel on the mouse to scroll around. I can use page up, page down, any of those things. It's exactly as you would expect. You might notice my computer right now looks probably like yours will after a couple weeks of using the consumer preview. I've got dozens of apps installed here, so the start screen has quite a bit of stuff on it, but it's really, really easy to navigate around here. Starting an app is exactly what you would expect. I'm just going to go click. We're going to start the weather app here. This is actually a really wonderful Metro-style app. It's beautiful. It's immersive. It's full screen. And it gives me a lot of really, really neat information. Now, if I want to go back to the start screen, let's say I want to go start another app here and I want to go back to the start screen. If I had a tablet, what Julie showed us is I would swipe from the right, pull out the charms, push on the start charm. Now, let me talk a little bit about the difference between the mouse and your fingers for a second. Your fingers are a terrific pointing device. They're great for pointing at you know, fairly large targets. They're also great for gesturing and for moving things around. The mouse, on the other hand, is also a great pointing device. In fact, it's a very, very precise pointing device but it's not great for gesturing, right? If we just emulated those gesturing commands with the mouse, it wouldn't be a very usable thing. Now, the mouse, one thing we do know about the mouse, however, is that there are, some, there are four spots on the screen that are actually really, really easy to get to with the mouse, and those are the four corners. It's really easy to just move your mouse to the top left corner, or the top right corner, or something like that. You can do it with your eyes closed. And so what you're going to see here is how much we use those corners to just navigate through the UI in Windows 8. So the first example of this I'm going to show you is if I just, this is actually going to feel very natural. If I just want to go back to the start screen to start an app, I'm just going to move the mouse to the bottom left corner. So this feels natural because this is what you do in Windows today, right? If you want to move, if you want to start an app, you go to the start button, and the start button is just down in the bottom left corner. So I just move down there and I click, and I'm back at the start screen. Here, let's start another app. This is my calendar. Go back down to the left. Same thing. I'll start another one here. See how easy this all is? I can just. It's incredibly fast and fluid to just navigate this UI and go back to the start screen this way, right? So uh, one of the things that Julie showed was zooming. Zoom actually works really, is really, really convenient with the mouse as well. So I can go down to the bottom right corner where that little magnifying glass is, click, and I zoom out. Now I can scroll around my, uh, my start menu to see what I, my start screen, to see what I'm interested in. Here's the Kindle app from Amazon. This is also a great Metro style app. We're really excited to have this one. And again, back to the start screen incredibly easily. Right? Uh, Zoom is actually great also for rearranging the start screen. So if I want to take, for example, this news group and just drag it around and bring it over here, incredibly easy to do. Rearranging individual tiles is really easy. I can just tear them off, move them around. This works exactly as you'd expect. Actually, watch what happens here as I move it down. The start screen zooms out automatically, and then I can just go where I want to drop it and really, really easy move it, easily move it over there. Right? So very, very easy to do. Now, I started something like four or five apps here. Uh, obviously, we've got a multitasking operating system. One of the things that you might want to do is just switch between apps that you have running in the background. So watch how we're going to do this. I'm going to take the mouse, gonna I'm going to move it to the top left corner, and just by clicking, I switch to my previous app that I had up, right? I can switch to the next one. And see how easy this is? Just super fast and fluid. I can cycle through my apps, go back to the start screen, go back to the app I was at. It's all incredibly, incredibly easy. And just made these corners make it really, really easy to just move around the UI like that. I'll show you another thing. If I move the mouse up to that top left corner and just drag it down, now I get that switch list that Julie showed you. Right now I've got all my running apps here. I can just pick the one that I'm interested in switching to, and there I am. And bang, I'm back where I was, back at the start screen. So fast, fluid, easy to move around. Let me show you, let's start another app here. So this is, uh, this is a finance app here. So this actually uses um, the power of Bing to aggregate a whole bunch of financial and economic information and present it in this very beautiful and, and, and full screen, easy to read way. 
Um, let's scroll over a little bit. I just want to give you a sense of how easy these kinds of apps are to navigate with the mouse. So again, I could just pan around. We can go see maybe a monthly view here, and that's actually not a bad view of the market. Um, and I can just go click. I can hover over this, for example, and get individual data points. So this works exactly as you would expect it to. It's very, very, it's just as easy to navigate these apps and navigate the system with the mouse as it is to do with your fingers. Let's go back here. I'm going to start one other app. Actually, I'm going to do this. Let's go back here. I'm going to go back to the start screen, but I'm going to do this a little bit differently. I didn't do it with the mouse. I just hit the Windows key on, this, on the keyboard, which, of course, is exa does exactly what you would expect it to do. It goes back to the start screen. Uh, one of the things that power users love to do, you see this a lot in people using Windows 7, the power users, instead of clicking around to go start apps, they'll just hit the Windows key, which brings up the start menu. They'll type the name of the app or start typing the name of the app and hit enter, and the app will run. Same thing works here. One of the things I love in, uh, in the consumer preview when we show you the when you when you go to the Windows Store to look at the apps we have we have a whole bunch of news apps from all over the world right um, I'm gonna go start the USA so I come from yeah, I live in the US I want to go see the news back home I'm gonna go start the USA Today app but instead of going and clicking on the tile since I know the name of it I'm just gonna start typing see as soon as I start typing you go into app search it finds the app that I want and I just need to hit enter to run it see how easy that I'll show you again so just type USA actually I should type USA not USDA so just type USA, hit enter, and there it is. Incredibly easy to do. This is another beautiful app. Let's go drill into one of these articles, maybe this one. Um, Julie showed you, one of the cool things that Julie showed you on that machine also is sharing, right? She brought out the charms and there was the share charm. Let's show you how you do that with the mouse. If I take the mouse and I move it to the top right corner now, out come the charms. I can just go click on share. Now, Julie shared from IE into email. One of the apps that I have installed on this machine here is WordPress. So WordPress is this really cool uh, blogging app. It lets you author blogs and read, read blogs. Um, just by clicking on, just by choosing to share to WordPress here, what it's going to do is it's basically going to link, it's going to post a link to this article on my blog. So again, these apps don't know anything about each other, right? New USA Today does not know how to post to a blog through WordPress, but both of them implemented the share contract, and the second they both end up on the same machine, they can share, they can share data between each of them. So that's a, little bit of a, that's a little bit of a view or a sort of bit, little bit of a look at just navigating, and navigating your way around the UI in Windows 8. Super easy, super fast and fluid, no compromises. 